So one YSL bag shocked me and another luxury bag really shocked me too. Let me explain why. Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about two bags that shocked me as you can see from the title you already know one is YSL you guys already know how much I love YSL I'm a big YSL lover for all those of you that are new welcome my name is Mel come join our fam September is a huge month because it is my birthday month and yeah I have a couple of giveaways planned that you guys do not want to miss. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to click that bell so you're notified every time I upload. Okay, so I've already opened this YSL bag. You already know what it is from the cover. I'm not sure if you got a little bit confused, but I'm going to show you right now. So here it is. This is actually the YSL monogram clutch. Don't get that confused with the YSL chevron classic wok, which pretty much looks exactly the same. So it actually came in this box and this dust bag, and I purchased it from My Teresa. Now, the last time I did a My Teresa video, you guys loved it, where I saw a sale. It was a very impromptu video. Anyway, as I was browsing through when I was going shopping that night, I actually came across this clutch, and I was really confused at the start. Let me put this down. And I was like, why is this clutch so much cheaper, like literally half the price of the wok. So I looked into all the dimensions and all the features and everything. Okay, so for those of you that aren't aware, this retails at 725 USD or $970 Australian. And I was thinking that's a really good price. And the reason why I also got it from my Teresa and Thank you to My Teresa for part sponsoring this video. You guys know I work with My Teresa quite a few times already, so thank you for sponsoring this section of the video. Anyway, I got this from My Teresa because on the Australian YSL website, this black was already sold out. And I'm like, have, am I really late to the game or something? Is this something I didn't realize? So this is actually a new arrival for My Teresa, and it's even considered a new arrival in the YSL website. I think they've added extra colors, but in my opinion, black Black Chevron is the best looking, the classiest, and I love YSL neutrals as well, but in this particular one, black is the best. So let me explain why I was shocked at this. So the wok version, and let me put a picture up here, is pretty much exactly the same. So this actually measures 21 centimeters across, but the wok version measures 19 centimeters across. And in terms of depth, this is three centimeters and the wok version is 3.5 centimeters. So this is actually two centimeters longer, just slightly not as thick in terms of the side, like 0.5. Also, I wanted to point out the clutch even measures 2.5 centimeters taller than the wok. At half the price, I think uh, this is way worth it. Not saying that I don't like the wok. I've never been a huge wok fan, but the price really sold me on this. Okay, and then get this. So when you open it up, okay, so this leather here, for all those of you that may be new to YSL, this may be a great bag for you to get. It is in an embossed leather, very durable, scratch resistant, as you can see, very similar to Chanel caviar. It is a button closure, snap button closure. And inside, take the packaging out, and let me show you. So inside it is just all, it's gonna be hard to see, it's just all in cotton lining and there is one slip pocket here. So at the moment that just contains, you know, the authenticity card. And you know, you can see, you can open it pretty big. And then with the wok, I'll show you some pictures because I actually don't own one. The only difference is that it does have a zipper compartment and then at the back, they do have some inbuilt card slots. But other than that, for half the price, this is so worth it. So this does come with a little wristlet strap. 
So let me just take this off for a second just to show you. So yes, it comes with a wristlet strap, which makes it great, especially if you want to use it for the evening. This is also detachable. So what I did is I have a gold chain and this one here is from Samorga. My code still works. I'll link it below. It's just MIM22. You get 22% off any of their Samorga, you know, chains or I use all their organizers for my LV and Chanel bags. And I probably need to get some for YSL anyway, but more on that later. So what I kind of found, which, you know, I used to do a lot anyway, was sort of thread the chain through and then you can just clip that on this side here. But if you've got this, what I recommend you to do is actually take the strap, pull it across to this side. And then on this side here, I have just got... And this Samorga sells these as well. These are very, very useful. This is just like an O-ring and you can clip that through the leather. So then you can clip this chain onto that and it doesn't damage the inside bit here. Well, not as much. I mean, you've got this as well, but for the time being, I think this is the best solution. So when you button it up, and as you can see me wearing it here, you've just converted this clutch into a crossbody bag. I mean, how good is that? So I think 970, 1880, which would you pick? I would pick this one over that. I just think it's such a good value bag and it's, yeah, pretty much the same thing. And I'm a huge fan of this Chevron, but get this. So you guys know that Oh, when was it? Maybe a couple of months ago now that I teamed up with Samorga and I thought about an idea for my Chanel flap card holder because I own a lot of these. And yeah, I haven't had a very great experience with Chanel. If you want to hear all that and everything, I will link that above. But anyway, I developed this insert with Samorga. And as you can see, it's just a thick piece of felt with two little rings so that you can attach a chain. So instead of buying the little SLGs with the chain that costs two or $3,000, you can just use an existing card holder. It doesn't just work on Chanel. It works on most card holders. It works on my Dior saddle. It works on my Bottega. Anyway, and so these rings allows you to attach a thin chain and you get yourself like a little mini bag. So I was thinking for my next development, I'm actually in the works of drawing it up. I'm thinking of making, teaming up with some more again and doing an insert for this. What do you guys think? Would you love that? Comment and let me know. I'm thinking of actually making it a little bit more functional where it's still very thin, but to have some sort of like uh, card slots inbuilt into the insert. I'm not sure if it will work, but I think it will be another game changer. So I'm always thinking of ways to save you guys money. And I'm just so glad that Samorga trusts me with these sort of developments. Everyone loved the small card holder one. And very, very soon, I, I'm pretty sure the long, if you have a longer wallet, we've developed one for that coming out very, very soon. And I just thought this is a perfect one to do it with. So I would get my hands on this. The reason why I wanted to buy it from my Teresa as well is because with my Teresa, you know, the more you buy, you kind of build up loyalty points. And as you can see from my wish list at the moment, you know, for certain tiered members, you can get 15% off. So certain times around the year, depending on which tier you get, you might get a birthday reward or they'll let you know if there's a spend and save. And I also know, especially for my US Bam Bam, if you buy from the YSL website, you also get charged tax. Whereas in with my Teresa, everything is included. So this is, you know, 725 USD, including tax. So I think that is such a good price point for this bag. So that completely shocked me. I love it. I'll leave the link below to get it, but I'll be definitely cutting this tag off. Guys, I got so excited. I actually went and cut the tag off and I filled it up and I'm kind of like double shocked as well at how much it can fit. It is not bulging. It does actually expand. Let me just show you how much this fits in. So I've got my AirPods, mask, key pouch with keys, a lippy, my Bastia with coins, my YSL card case, and my iPhone 12 Pro Max. All that fits into this. 
I was like, did not expect that. So yeah, definitely, definitely recommend you get this and especially in black. So the next thing I wanna show you, just before I show you the second bag that shocked me, is also from my Teresa, but this is just a little tid bit of information for you. So I got this from my Teresa, and often my Teresa actually have exclusives, and you guys know how much I love Zimmerman. And these pair of shorts, how cute are they? This is a very classic style for Zimmerman. It's in this sort of linen-y fabric. I love the floral. Again, no surprise, Mel loves floral. And as you can see me trying it on, it's just not too short. It's high-waisted, they're comfortable, and you can only get this on My Teresa. And what was interesting is that I find that when My Teresa have exclusives, like they've got this one, I think a crop top, and I think for my US um, followers on your website, you might even have a dress, but the Australian website doesn't have that. Otherwise, I probably would have got that too. It works out slightly cheaper than the same style, like the same style of, for example, say these shorts. Yeah, they work out cheaper. So that's another point. Check out some of their exclusives. If you love a certain brand, just you just never know if they've teamed up and certain websites, certain luxury websites have exclusives. So I love that. It actually goes with my lilac cardigan really well. And I'm actually wearing these new hoop earrings from my dear friend Karis from LV Lover CC. So I just wanted to show you that you guys also know I love hoops and pearls. So this is her new co-creation with Anna Luisa. I will leave the link below, but I love that they're just so versatile. You can wear them every day. As you can see, I'm wearing it with the shorts. They match or you can take the pearl off and just wear them completely plain, so very versatile. So I wanted to wish her a big congratulations and I just think they are gorgeous. Okay, and the final bag reveal. Okay, the box kind of wasn't great, but yes, it's a coach bag. I know so many of you have raved on about coach and I still consider it, you know, a luxury brand. It's probably more along contemporary luxury, but still I do think it is, you know, a luxury brand. And the thing is that I used to own a coach bag many, many years ago and I've been wanting to try out another one of their bags, but I just want one that's really different, you know me. So the box kind of came a little bit wrecked, but in Australia, maybe even in the US, you guys have more sales in the US than us, but there was a recent take an additional 40% off. I think it may be running. If there is anything that I recommend, I will link it down below, but definitely check out the site because they have 40% off sale. And I think in their outlet, they have an additional percentage off as well. I'll leave my favorites below, but I was deciding between two of these bags. And when I opened it up, firstly, it did come in, you know, a dust bag, a coach dust bag, and I'll show you the one I picked. So I'm not too fussed about the box. Yes, it came a little bit wrecked, but I picked, ta-da! So this is the coach tabby. Now the tabby style has been so popular the last few years. It's come in all leather. It's got, you know, the coach monogram as well. And often the seasonal colors you will get on sale. So I was really debating between this one or there was this pink top handle. So this one here actually comes with the shorter top handle, which is really cute because you can wear it like that. But I was very impressed and shocked that, you know, in the box, it came with a crossbody strap that is adjustable as well. So I was like two straps, very impressed. So this one here, the other reason why I was really impressed is look at the mix of materials. You guys know I love a bit of shearling. Shearling and this leather is actually buffalo leather. Buffalo leather is one of the most hardiest, toughest leathers. I actually don't see buffalo made much in bags at all for a while. So I was really impressed with that. That's also really attracted me. Turn it to the side. There are, the sides are in suede. So it is such a mix of materials. And even this C, the coach, um, clasp has all these little sort of like etchings on it. I just loved it. All that detail. The back has a back pocket. 
How good is that? And that definitely fits an iPhone, I tried. And when you open it up, it's just a magnetic clasp. And inside, wow, it was packed so well. I have to just take all the packaging out, but so much protection. So when you open it up, there's another pocket here if you wanna put anything in there. Ooh, more packaging. So they really do reinforce it really well. Wow, even the bottom is all got little, they really package it well. I think that they did that because inside, the leather is very, very soft, super soft. I mean, I believe, I think it is like a glove tanned leather, I believe. So inside is one compartment there, one zipper compartment, another compartment here, and then a slip pocket at the back. So this slip pocket just contains a little coach, probably care, some care instructions or something. So I can see from up the top, if you're looking at this here, that this leather must be super soft because I do see very slight indentations. That doesn't bother me because obviously when it's gone down like this, the buffalo leather, this is very grained. So it's probably pressed down on that, but just something to point out. Good size, so much detailing, two detachable straps. This was the coach bag that I was kind of after. I wanted something a bit different. This definitely ticked that box. And then at 40% off. So this originally was 995 Australian dollars. So 40% off is 595. So I was deciding between this and the other one. This unfortunately, I think just sold out, but the other, I think pink one is still available. I love that one too. You know me, I love a top handle, but I was really shocked. So guys, I'm, you know, some people say, oh, you know, Mel doesn't buy coach. You know, is she a brand snob? Not at all. I'm so impressed and I would definitely, this would not be my last coach bag that I'm adding to my collection. So that is it for this video, guys. Two bag reveals and just a little pair of shorts because we're in spring now from one of my favorite brands. So I will list all the links down below. Do check it out. And I'll also list some, I know I have got you know, some guy viewers and I have taken note. I actually saw in the sales section a few things that are 40% off that I think are great unisex pieces. So I will leave the links down below as well. But you know, I always appreciate your feedback and I always will try my best, you know, to include more unisex pieces as well. So thank you all so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Stay safe, take care, and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.